Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is December 18th, 2020, and I just realized how much purple I have out here today. I must be for a reason. Purple is the third eye, which is what is linked to this great conjunction. I've been calling it a grand conjunction. Maybe it's a great conjunction, I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it will effectively open our third eyes. And it concerns me that what I was reading earlier today, a post about the new policies that some social media platforms are, are going to be taking. And it's a lot of very invasive spying and data collection, as they call it. So we're just not sure what it's going to transpire, how much of a effect this is going to have on accounts that post things that are not in line with the mainstream narrative. I hope that the YouTube platform will continue because I, you know, um, am on many social media platforms and this is how I get my message across, the spiritual message. It's interesting the timing that these go into effect on December 20th, which is the day before the conjunction. I don't feel that that is a coincidence, of course, because this has been destined and the if you follow some deep rabbit hole theories, and they may not even be that deep, but we have had access to something called a looking glass for a very long time and it has shown us the future and it has shown us future timelines. And I am channeling this information right now from the Pleiadians, from the High Council. They have shown me this before. I wasn't aware this was the message that wanted to come out today, but here we are. So before we get to the cards, they want to, mm, they want to make sure you're aware that you know this timeline has been attempted to be altered many times and has been unsuccessful. Nothing that any brilliant mind has attempted has been able to change the outcome of this destined timeline shift. So we are moving into whatever we're moving into and it's happening it doesn't matter what they try to throw at us it doesn't matter what the platforms try to change or censor or whatever because it's not going to work basically is the message so with that i want to look into the new earth and i've been having extremely vivid dreams lately and as they say, the fourth dimension where you dream in the astral realm is a real realm. You don't go there in your physical body. You go there in your spirit body, in your light body. But I, f I have felt the presence of my higher self and the higher selves of the people involved in my dreams. And they've just felt almost more real lately than this 3D life <laughs> or whatever this physical plane of existence that we're on has been for the last, especially the last few days. Um, so I wonder if you all are having these vivid dreams. Let me know. Let's see what we're getting here. Surrendering to the journey, narrow pathway, finding sanctuary, Interesting. So finding sanctuary is jumping out to me that you want to feel safe and you want to feel like you have a sanctuary and you have a home and you have a home base. So I also feel like for light workers that we are going to need to have a place like this, even if it's just a meditation closet <laughs> that you can go to, that's just your own private space and that you feel like you're, this says opening to your spiritual source. So we want to feel connected to, to a source wherever we are and where, whatever that means for you. For me, I actually, this is funny because this is a tower in the sky and I live 
on a very a higher floor in my apartment building. <laughs> I call it my tower actually. So, but whatever this is for you, where you feel like you, you can protect your energy because the, the feeling right now is that humans are anxious, don't really know what's happening. And if you're extremely empathic, which you definitely are, if you're watching this, <laughs> you are absorbing that. So as much as possible, you know, get your crystals and protect your space, protect yourself. Narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. So this is the path I feel between worlds where we are right now. And it's very narrow. See, it's like you could almost just fly right off of it because, you know, one side I feel is the 3D. The other side is the 5D. This is this fourth dimensional bridge that connects them. And that's also the dream space. Pay attention to what you're getting from your dreams. I, I really do feel that they are telling us, giving us messages and that you're very connected to your higher self right now and your highest possible timeline. So you want to, if you want to practice quantum jumping, I recommend doing that, which is really getting into the space where you feel that you're already living the life that you desire and as even even whatever that looks like for you it says tread thoughtfully i'm getting that from this card this card can mean something completely different it really is up to the interpreter i'm just feeling like this is a narrow little slice of uh opportunity is the word they're giving me that use this to your most your highest advantage right now this narrow pathway where where the veils the veil is very thin between worlds and i feel like we only have this few days really of time until this conjunction where we can really get very specific about the life that we want to jump into and the new earth surrendering to the journey release control this has come up so much i feel like this is the theme of this entire year 2020 surrender and release control and there's this amazing play that i saw at the very beginning of this year in 2020 before they closed all the theaters down that was called Everybody, and it was about someone going through the death process. And it was actually extremely, now that like looking back on it, extremely appropriate to set up this entire year. I didn't know at the time, of course, no one did, but the theme was that this main character knew they were dying and they were trying everything they could to get people to come with them and at the end of the play, they had to surrender to what was happening because there was nothing else they could do. Death is inevitable for all of us. It's coming for all of us. And I mean that not literally. This, of course, in the play, it was literal. But at one point in the play, the main character strips naked and starts running around the whole theater and saying that they surrender. They surrender. And it was just the most moving thing, which I really do hope that they figure out how to have some live theater again. I'd settle for virtual theater if it's good at this point. But that's us right now, collectively surrendering to wherever we're going, because nobody actually knows. Star seeds and psychics, we can hypothesize, we know the frequency, we know what 5D is, but we're all a little bit in this boat where we're not sure exactly where we're going. It is a mystery. And I do still question what will happen to those who are still really in the third dimension matrix. And I get different 
I get different uh, hits on that or whatever you would call it, downloads, but nothing quite concrete because I don't feel that it, even the ones of us who are really tapped into spirit are supposed to know. We're all supposed to be in this together where we're collectively surrendering and releasing our control and releasing our ego to this portal opening and this new earth that is awaiting all of us, which is not, it is similar to the death process, but it's a transition It more than anything. It's just a transition. I was going to pull a Starseed Oracle, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm feeling there's another message here. If you hear my dog tapping, she probably needs her nails trimmed. <laughs> so that's what that is. Uh, let's see. What is another message that I might be missing here? You know, I'm going to pull a starseed oracle. That's what they're telling me to do. So that's what I will do. Oh, there was a message. I am slightly sleep deprived. So if you're still watching, I really appreciate you. I was called out of bed by the Galactic Federation today to do this check-in. So I know it is important. There was something I saw about the fall of Atlantis that was very traumatic for people. And if you've had a past life in Atlantis, which is coming up quite often in my personal readings, I see people who have had past lives in Atlantis. The fall of Atlantis was very traumatic as it sank. It was an island and it sank. And collectively, everyone who was still alive, I get chills thinking about it, talking about it. They held hands. There's a theory that they held hands as it sank because they knew how traumatic it was going to be on their souls because they were that evolved. They knew that this death was going to leave a, a mark. So they just sang and they held hands as the island sank. And that really resonates for me. It might resonate for you. And there have been parallels about this shift in consciousness where we're moving into new earth and that, that the collapse of the, the 3D matrix, it's going to be very similar in uh, the amount of trauma that it may leave on people. Okay, well, I'm glad I did pull these cards and I'm gonna wrap it up with these, but we are getting, I don't know why I'm feeling like reading these this way today. I feel I'm tapping into an old past life where I was probably Greek or something, Arabic, and I was reading the opposite way. But we're getting the seven star sisters for, so that our Pleiadian sisters are coming in to guide us to find sanctuary. This is clarifying this card. So with the Pleiadian star sisters, they are about expression and birthing creations. So it's about trusting your intuition and when you're designing the life that you wanna jump into, ask them for guidance because they're, oh, they are your star family. Even if you don't really resonate with the Pleiadians, the Pleiadians are here to help us shift into unity consciousness. And this is our mission. The double mission is here on this narrow pathway. Lightworkers, starseeds, serve the world by being you. A double mission can mean you have soul family, you're, you're on mission with, that you have multiple things that you want to accomplish. It can mean you're a twin flame and you have a double mission literally with another person. And this is more confirmation of this, that as the world's merge into one world, you'll start to get on this double mission. So it will come more into focus exactly what that is for you. And becoming your authentic self. This is like a fast track to merge you with your higher self, which is your authentic self. 
And with this surrendering to the journey, we're getting baby steps. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. So there isn't, you know, we're not leaping. This isn't going to be, you know, you're not going to be submerged into a new earth. And like, um, it, some people might be actually, you know what they're telling me? Some people, you may get a very intense upgrade and it may be quick, instantaneous. But for others, for most of us, this is going to come on gradually. So it really is about more of this leaning into what you're getting from spirit, if you're getting downloads from spirit. And that the seven star sisters are giving you downloads too. And you may be seeing flashes of light, orbs, and having dreams. And this can, to me, this card is not only Pleiades, but it's any, any star beings, any angelic beings because they're all serving us at this time and guiding us. And we just have to be still enough in our sanctuaries to hear them. So I feel with all this purple, <laughs> I'm like overwhelmed with purple today uh, and blues really. Blue is the throat chakra. So you may be feeling your throat, you may be feeling some headaches, your vision, you may be having some vision changes. So all of this is normal for what we're going through. And I will probably wrap it up with this. I hope this was helpful today. I we did go over a little bit. Uh, I hope it, it was not too rambly for you and <laughs> I'll check in again very soon shortly and please reach out if you'd like a personal reading the link is below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the videos I'll see you all next time take care